In this video I'm going to take a look at what it takes to install the PHP SDK on Windows. The starting point is going to be the developers.google.com app engine page and we can see it's under PHP getting started installing. So this is the URL that you're going to want to follow. On this page there are installation instructions for Linux, Mac OS X and Windows but I'm going to follow the Windows link. So the first thing that you see as we go through this page is that to install the PHP SDK on Windows you need to have Python 2.7. Now that might seem a little bit unusual that in order to use PHP you need Python, but that's because of the development server that allows you to run your App Engine apps locally on your Windows box uses Python. So let's make it our first step to download and install the Python itself. So if you follow the link, you'll go to Python 2.7.4 release. And there's a number of different links on this page, but I'm just going to go for the Windows x86 MSI installer and download that. You see it's about 15 megabytes, it'll take a minute to download. So once it's finished downloading, you can launch it, and you'll be just asked to run the MSI in the usual way. Now you'll see the Python installer allows you to install for all users, or just for me. I'm going to take the default, and it's going to ask me a directory. I'm just going to take the default Python 27, and ask what I'm going to want to install, and I'm just going to take the default again. And it's going to run through, and it's going to install Python 2.7 for me. Okay, once the install is complete, press finish to exit the installer and you're good to go. And if you want to check if it worked, you can just open a command box and change the directory to the directory that you had installed it on. In this case, I installed Python 27 for Python 2.7. And then just type Python and you can see the Python interpreter opens. So I now know that Python is working on my machine. So the next step that I want to do is to install the SDK itself. And the latest PHP SDK for App Engine, you can see the link is here. The nice thing about it is that you don't need to install the PHP runtime separately. It's included within the SDK for App Engine. So I'm just going to click that and download it. You can see it's a 43 meg download, so it'll just take a minute. So once it's done downloading, you can just open the MSI and install it in the usual way. App Engine Wizard notes that uh, Python 2.7 is found, all the prereqs are found because we've just installed them. I'm going to go ahead, accept the terms of the license agreement. You'll see that it installs it in program files, x86, Google, Google App Engine. I'm going to take all the defaults and I'm going to install it. Okay, now we can see that it has completed and uh, we can either run the launcher or we can view the readme. I'm going to run the launcher so we can see what it looks like. And here's the Google App Engine launcher ready to go. So on this, I can create a new application. And I'm just going to call it Engine App, which is the default. I'll give it a directory. Maybe I'll just put it in uh, my desktop. And you'll see that the runtime has been set to Python 2.7. I want to change that to PHP because we're going to be going over PHP here in this book. Um, the port is 8080. So when I open my browser, I have to point it at port 8080 in order to access this site. And then the admin port, which gives me the admin consoles at port 8000. So if I go ahead and create that, I now have my engine app running on port 8080. When I press the run button, and now if I go with my browser, I go to localhost 8080. There it is. I have a Hello World app actually running in there. So uh, we're now up and running with App Engine locally on my Windows box. And um, in following chapters, you're going to see how to actually build your own applications that run on App Engine, and then you'll deploy them to the cloud. For a quick look, we can go into the Engine app that we created, and we'll see there are files app.yaml, favicon, and main.php. Main.php is your code file. Now, if I go to Notepad and take a look at it, we'll see the Hello World code that actually ran. So we see here we have our PHP Echo Hello World. So now we have everything you want in order to be able to use App Engine on Windows. And uh, good luck and have fun building App Engine applications. And we hope you follow the rest of the tutorials and read through the rest of this book. Thanks.